Hi, uh, my name is Bill Skilton. Uh, thank you for stopping in. Today it's just a quick video on uh, feather placement on a bird, on a genetic bird. And we're going to talk a little about grizzlies here today. Uh, this is Bob. He's a young bird. He's maybe eight months old. Uh, he has some nice hackle up here, cape. Back here's a saddle. It's just starting to develop, really. It's not used to being out, so he might flop around a little for us here. Uh, what I'm after on this bird, really, I'm after the predator feathers, uh, large saddle hackle, streamer feathers, slouping type feathers, lots of webbing, wide feathers, and you see, that's what I'm getting here, and, and that's what I want. Uh, the predator feathers, great for large fish, saltwater, bass, sorry about that, streamers, trout, and of course your muskie and pike and pickerel type. Uh, these feathers are pretty cool. Uh, they can be dyed, they can be tie dyed, you can tip them with just about any color. This is kind of a red right there. Uh, chartreuse, blues, pinks for the muskies and pike and things, they work great. So I, I just harvested a couple of dozen birds and, and here's their cape. That's, that's what they look like when they're finished off. That's the comb, you can see when they're caped out, they call it skinned. There's a few dozen and here's the saddles I'm after. And again, I, I don't skin them with all the slapping type feathers. I like them for dry flies. That's what you get with a few nice saddle, wide feathers, but mostly skinny dry fly. Skinny dry fly feathers. And they're basically uh, 12s to 16s or 12 to 18 type feathers. On the cape, you're looking, you know, down in the 20s, a small midge up into the 12s and 10s. And, and you know, basically in the fly tying world, this is a grizzly, but to the real world of breeding birds, breeding chickens, which is much larger than just the fly tires, it's called a barred Plymouth rock. So if you go to any livestock market, you'd see a bird oftentimes be called a barred Plymouth rock. Wouldn't be this quality, wouldn't be long feathers, wouldn't be thin feathers. They'd be barnyard birds. But again, this, this is a grizzly genetic bird and I just wanted to talk a couple of minutes on it. Thanks for visiting. Stop back again.